So, you know, many people from rural areas, uh, they are having a hard time raising support. How does Ethnos provide for those people an opportunity to be full-time involved in mission work? We need to unpack the question a little bit more. And I would prefer to say not only rural, but also city missions. We know that urbanization, especially in continent Africa, is a major focus where many people move from the rural to the cities. And a big part of our mission field today is in the informal settlements around our cities. So to understand the question better, we need to unpack it maybe a, a bit more. And it's not just a one-sided question. So, for instance, people in the rural that focus there, there's various skills that we as ESNOS are training and helping them with from entrepreneurial training right through to agricultural training, helping them to establish small farms, have chickens that lay eggs that can be sold at the markets. But I also think that there is sometimes opportunities where you can be a dual vocational worker. Me and my wife have been, um, especially when we lived in the rural in the very north of Zambia. We didn't have a very big support. Maybe 10% of our needs was met through financial giving by Christians at that stage. So I started a self-subsistence farm. Early in the mornings from 5, I was in my farm up to 8 o'clock working to plant maize, to plant beans, having a vegetable garden that we sold at the market, using our vehicle as a, my way of transport, but giving people lift as a, as a taxi, for instance. Um, we went to take people's produce from their farms with our vehicle out. So there's various ways of doing that. As of late, in a very different season and more a city area, we started a construction company. And we worked in the construction company, but used that as vehicle for missions too. And it also brought income to, to a variety of our missionaries. So I don't think there is one specific method that's working. We need to seek the Lord in creative ways in our environment, from the rural right through to the city areas, from seeing being fully supported by a church and by other Christians to a mix of dual vocational or even maybe a full-time tent-making role where we are using our profession and our skill, but we just need to know where and plan it to go to a specific unreached people group and live there and belong still to a mission agency um, being sent from your church, being focused. So this is all very important things to consider when you are going into the mission field. So do you as, as Ethnos provide some sort of a guidance or, or a skill set or a training that, that can bring this idea in? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we have a variety of trainings from skills training, agricultural training to entrepreneurial training. But we are also consulting with our missionaries, helping them to explore various ways, um, even um, sometimes helping them to do fundraising to a certain uh, percentage. So th there is obviously not one size fits all. And therefore, we see ourselves more as consultants of our missionaries, trainers, and uh, people that can guide and explore with in creative ways to see people reaching their target communities.